Hey there, welcome back, or if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Katie, and this is Louisiana Cooking and Living, and today is our 100th video. I'm so excited about that. I feel like I've come a long way in these 100 videos from the beginning. I'm going to leave a link right up here at the top if you want to check out the first one, if I'm brave enough to allow you to check out the first one. It was dark. I was scared to death. I couldn't smile. It was, it's pretty sad, but I feel like I've come a long way since then. So today we're going to be making one of my favorite cakes in honor of this 100th video, almost an episode, but I guess it's not an episode. And this is a lemon strawberry cake. It's perfect for the springtime. And today I actually, I was going to buy some strawberries at the store, but a lot in Louisiana, we sell strawberries along the roadside. I bought a half a flat because I didn't need a whole one today. So I pulled over and I bought me some strawberries for this lemon strawberry cake. And I'm so excited about this. It uses a whipped cream instead of a buttercream icing. And it's so yummy, so moist. It's got the tangy of the lemon and the sweetness of the whipped cream and the strawberries. It's so good. So let's get started. All right, so I know most everything I make is from scratch, but there are a few desserts I make that start off with store-bought ingredients and this is one of those but it is so yummy and if you're not buying organic ingredients i know this has additives that we don't want in it but uh if you're not buying organic then might as well have the dried mixes already or the dried ingredients already measured out for you so this is it's the bold butter golden duncan hans it's different than the yellow, so we're going with the butter golden here. So we're going to put this in our mixer. And grab some scissors to cut the top. And we don't follow the direction on the back exactly. All right, so instead of the three eggs, we are gonna be using four eggs. So I'm gonna get these in here. So the next thing we're going to add is instead of seven tablespoons of melted butter, we have eight here and I let this cool. So we'll pour this in here. The next ingredient is three fourths of a cup of water. So let me grab that. All right, that's our three fourths of a cup of water. Now, I've made a few cakes for you guys, and I always show this. I like to add about a cup of sour cream to my cakes. It makes them super tender. So we'll squirt that in. And then to make the cake part a little lemony, I have some lemon extract. I made this with you guys last summer, and I actually saw it on my Etsy page too. If you want to check that out, I'll leave that linked in the bottom. So this is some lemon extract. We'll just put a, about a teaspoon of that in there. All right. We'll put our paddle attachment on our KitchenAid here. And we will mix this according to the package. It says to stir it on low just to get it mixed together and then turn it on high for, or medium for four minutes. So we're going to do that real quick. All right, so we're mixed up here. Move my strawberries out of the way. I have two eight inch cake pans here that are greased and floured. We'll get our cake batter in here. I have my oven preheated to 350. 
We just divide it between our two pans. Now, if you had just a regular yellow cake mix, you can always use butter in there instead of the oil it calls for because just a regular yellow cake mix calls for oil. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to get these in the oven and they are going to bake for about 24 minutes. Um, you want that if you do a toothpick test on it or a cake tester, you don't want it completely dry coming out because it will continue to cook just like a meat will once you remove it from the oven as it's cooling off. You want it just barely holding on to the toothpick, just a few crumbs on there, okay? So we're gonna get these in the oven, about 24 minutes, and we will come back together once these are cooled and we will ice these together. All right, so our cake is out of the oven and it has cooled um, for the most part, and so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the whipped cream. So let's get started with that. So to our mixer, we're gonna add some whipped cream this is just the end of this carton. I'm gonna get another one. All right, so I'm gonna add, I mean, this wasn't enough to really measure anything. I'm gonna add I don't want to run out, so I'm going to say about two-thirds of this carton, which is a quart here. We'll just work with that. So I'm going to get this on the mixer, and I want to get it mostly whipped before I add my sugar to it. All right, so we'll get this mixing. We're whipping. All right, we're starting to thicken up some, so I'm gonna add just a pinch of salt, like not much, like an eighth of a teaspoon here. And then we're gonna add about a half a cup of sugar. And I'll finish getting this going until we have a pretty stiff um, whip going on. So we'll get this going again. Okay, so we have a pretty stiff whip here. Um, I used to be pretty scared about whipping my whipped cream. I didn't want it to turn into butter because that's the only thing you have to do for butter is put whipped cream in here and whip it till it separates. It will go through this whipped cream stage and then it will separate into butter and buttermilk. So you want to whip your cream until it's kind of dry looking. That way when you um, ice your cake with it, it doesn't like slide off your cake. So it's pretty dry. It's just before it's going to separate, okay? So we're going to go ahead and ice our cake. So the first thing to do to bring up that lemon flavor in this is we are going to take some lemon and we are going to squeeze lemon juice right onto our cake layer. So we put our lemon extract into the batter. And now we're going to squeeze this lemon juice right onto the cake. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and spread some of our whipped cream on here. <clears throat> For our wedding cake, I actually had, I didn't do the lemon because I had never had that before, but um, I did not, I don't like wedding cake flavor. Uh, so, and I'm not a huge fan of buttercream icing always. So we had for our wedding cake was yellow cake with strawberries between the layers and whipped cream. All right, so next thing we're doing is gonna slice some strawberries to go in here. I washed up a good bit of those strawberries that I had bought. And let's get some of these sliced up. 
I'm going to slice them pretty thick. Look how pretty those are on the inside. They are so sweet. Louisiana strawberries are the best. And we'll just lay them around down here. You save the little tips you can kind of fill in the gaps between them with those some of these aren't quite as red all the way through but they're going to be super yummy but we really don't want any gaps between our sl strawberry slices so i like to leave those little tips for that So as you can see, I'm slicing these pretty thick. Can you see that? Um, I want a good thick layer on here. Oops. All right, let's fill in these gaps here. All right, we'll get our next cake layer on here. Okay, we'll, we'll squeeze our lemon juice on top. And then we'll finish icing our cake. All right, I'm gonna clean up my edges here. With the whipped cream, I find that you can't make the icing as smooth as you would with a buttercream, just because of the air that's whipped into it. So just take, keep that in mind. You're not gonna get it as smooth. Now you can decorate this a number of ways. But I am going to Let's see, found some pretty strawberries. We'll um, put that there and then we'll put some lemon between them just so you know what's going on in the cake. And that's just our simple decoration. You could put strawberries around the edges. You can do it any, you know, kind of number of ways to do that. Whatever you can creative. All right. We are going to taste this. Get a mess cleaned up real quick. All right, let's cut this cake. I'm gonna use a serrated knife. I find serrated knives work better to cut into a cake. 
We are serving this tomorrow with our dinner, but can't help it. I'm just going to cut a slice now. They'll just have to forgive me that we are cutting into this already. Look at that. Right, so there it is. Let's get a taste. A little whipped cream, a little strawberry, a little cake. Mm -hmm. That is so good, y'all. That sour cream makes that cake so soft and moist. Let's see if you can see how moist this is. I don't even know. This is so soft and moist. Whoop, dropped it right off my fork. That lemon just comes through. The sweetness from the strawberries and whipped cream is so yummy. Well, thanks guys for being here for a hundred of my videos. Again, like I said, if you haven't watched them, I ask you to go back and watch them and see what progress we've made through this channel. It is a rocky start, but we've made it this far. And I appreciate all that you've watched and all that you've done to share my videos with others. And I hope to see you again soon. And if you haven't subscribed, I ask you to go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.